Regularly running the disk defragmenter utility improves system performance. When the computer saves files, it fragments them into pieces and saves them in various locations on the hard drive. Windows takes longer to access files because it requires additional disk drive passes to find all the different pieces. The process of finding and consolidating fragmented files is called defragmentation. This defragmenter consolidates the fragments into one location on the disk drive. As a result, Windows accesses files faster and new files are less likely to be fragmented. This process is only useful for hard drives that use a physical disk and isn't required for SSDs as they use a different method to save the data. For larger servers running a RAID array, disk defragmenting still makes sense. While it's true that the layout the operating system sees isn't the same as the physical layout, it's monotonic, meaning the virtual sectors are in the same order on the disk as they are on the array, it's just that they're scattered across disks. To defragment your hard drive, open Disk Defragmenter by clicking on your Start button and in the search box type Disk Defragmenter and then in the list of results click Disk Defragmenter. Under Current Status, select the disk you want to defragment. To determine if the disk needs to be defragmented or not, click Analyze Disk. Administrator permission is required to run this. If you're prompted for an admin password or confirmation, just type it in. Once Windows has finished analysing the disk, you can check the percentage of fragmentation in the last run column. If the number is above 10%, you should defragment your disk. Click on either Defrag Disk or Optimize, as shown. Again, administrator permission is required, so type it in if you're prompted. Depending on the size of the drive, it may take several minutes for the defragmentation process to complete. And it's best practice not to run any other programs during this process. And that's it. For more information on this topic, check out the links in the description below and check out the links at the end of the video for more useful hints and tutorials. Thanks for watching.